Hello everyone, my name is Maya Gul and in today's video, I will be telling you guys the top 5 resume writing skills. So starting off with the first skill, I would say write a brief intro about yourself. Just write about your basic skills, your qualifications and your qualities in a short like paragraph, just like 3-4 lines and describe yourself. How are you as a person? How how are you as like a work work person? What is your characteristic? What are your characteristics? What are your good qualities? What are your strengths? And just talk about are you a team team player? How do you like to work on a daily basis? You know, just like a brief intro about yourself. And I would also say just do make sure to also mention your LinkedIn profile because anyone who will be reading your resume in the start may like to also see your LinkedIn profile. So I would say do give you the URL of your LinkedIn profile. So if anyone wants to go see your LinkedIn, you know, see your other qualifications or you as a professional, they can also go and see your LinkedIn profile. So mentioning your LinkedIn profile is also a good tip to keep in mind. Moving on for my second tip, I would say that if you have any certifications, may it be AWS, may it be Azure, may it be uh, HashiCorp, like for any Terraform or something, make sure to give a certifications heading and just quickly write all the certifications you have because that actually gives a great direct impact on the person reading your resume. You know, when, when someone opens your resume and they're like, oh, five certifications they'll be like okay wow that person is experienced if they see like oh wow so like they have the person has three aws certifications he has like one azure certification one terraform certification that person has experience that person has gained knowledge in different areas so i personally have like four aw certifications at the moment i'm working for my fifth certification so you know i also put that in my resume under certifications so i would say after writing your brief intro give a heading of certifications and just quickly write all the titles of your certifications because that i would say again really impress the person reading your resume and would want uh, would want the person to interview you as quickly as possible so certifications help you a lot and um i would say just make sure to write them in your resume the third tip i would say for resume writing would be to next write all of your experiences experiences at your different companies experiences giving any internships or experiences anywhere you know so for example i have my past experience of a position just write the details of that like what did you do in that position? just don't write work at this place and that's it no you have to give all the details like what did you work on what uh, skills did you have in that position what um, services you worked on in that uh, in that position what actual experience you gained like like just if you created uh, like a whole ci cd pipeline just write that i created a uh, created a pipeline if you for example uh, manage the whole infrastructure through cloud formation of uh, for the experience write that you worked on cloud formation and write all the experience that you actually had in that position so the person reading knows that you have gained that much good experience in your past experience and would like to actually interview you for a new position at their own company so i would say write your experience in detail mention the company mention the years mention the details of what you did in that position write like as much detail as you want like not too much but like you know you should give like bullet points and write okay you worked on that worked on that worked on that so i would say the third tip would be to write your experiences in detail and if you have any like small internship too in like regarding that same position like if you have any devops internship that you have done anything just write that in your experience and just you know don't worry if you don't have that much experience because if you're a new person like trying for a devops uh, engineer position and you don't have that much experience it's okay if you have the certifications if you just write your a short background just a few experience that will be okay too so don't worry that if you don't have like uh, 10 years of experience it's okay you can only have like one two three years of experience too and have some good certifications and that would work too and give you a good resume so after the experiences i would say the fourth tip would be to write your education so if you have like a high school degree you also have your bachelor's degree mention them in the ad education area because that's also like a nice thing to know for the person reading your resume like what kind of qualifications and what kind of background do you have what kind of education you have so you know if you have like a bachelor's degree in an IT, IT related field for example like cyber security or you have like in computer sciences make sure to write that because that actually helps you uh, in relating your devops experience too so my fifth and last skill that I would say for a good resume would be to include your skills. So in the end of the resume, I usually prefer to write a skills heading. And in the skills heading, I jot down all the skills and services that I have worked with. For example, in AWS, I have worked with like 
I don't know, like 30 services, for example, I write the 30 services names. I'll be, uh, I'll have like, I have experience with Terraform. I'll write that. I have experience with Jenkins. I'll write that. I have experience with um, CloudFormation. I'll write that. I, like, I have experience with, for example, Docker. I'll write that. If I have experience with Git, I'll write that. So, you know, all the skills that you have, just jot them down so that if there's any person who's looking at your resume knows, okay, um, this person has worked with Jenkins, this person has worked with AWS, this person has worked with this skill, this skill. So they can easily find whatever skill they're looking for. So for example, in their position, they're looking for someone who has experience with Terraform. And you haven't mentioned some some anywhere in your resume that you have worked with Terraform, then that person would like probably not go on with you. So make sure to write all the experience that you have. Make sure to write all the skills that you have in your resume. If you have worked with Terraform, write Terraform. If you have with Linux, write about your programming languages, like what skill, what programming language skills you have. So I would say in the end, make a skills heading and jot down all the skills that you have because I think that's a good resume writing uh, tip because the person can easily see okay what skills you have and what skills you don't have. So I would say just do make sure to have that skills section in your resume too. And if you have all these five skills, five uh, tips that I mentioned in your resume, I hope that I, I'm hopeful that um, the person reading will like your resume and will actually have you for an interview at the position. So again, starting off and just giving an, giving you an overview of the five uh, tips that I mentioned. First would be to have a good intro. The second would be to have like your certifications mentioned. The third would be to actually have your experience mentioned. The fourth would be to have your education. And the fifth would be to have to mention all your skills. So this will be the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Like if you have any uh, questions regarding resume writing tips or just DevOps or DevOps engineer position or DevOps interview, interview comment down below and we will be uh, replying back to you as soon as possible to your questions and make sure to subscribe to our channel check out our other courses check out clearest.com enroll in our courses because we have like a lot of courses in which you can gain exposure other than that make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and if you again if you have any questions just make sure to write them in the comments and we'll reply back to you so hope this resume writing tips uh, video helps you guys and go go on and create your own, own perfect resume